Hello, family, and thank you for coming in, sharing your evening with me. Yes, this is Tuesday, March 10th at 8.49 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone. I hope everybody had a nice or fair work day. Hope you're settling down, kicking back, getting into your easy groove mood to settle down for the night and get that nap in. Or that nightly sleep, peaceful sleep. Okay, but before I let you go do all that, let's get in a little chit chat tonight. Okay, got two salacious stories. One coming from popularsuperstar.com. And I don't know where the other one coming from. I ain't got that far. But I know it was some cheating stories going on with the housewives. Men, honey. Tonight, we're going to call it. Why are the housewives men trying to cheat on the housewomen? I don't know. That's why I came to you all to talk about it. So I can have what say you family on this particular topic or subject matter we're going to be getting in tonight. Okay? But let's get right on into this first one. Like I said, it comes from popularsuperstars.com and we have a journalist over the uh, over there by the name of Monica Miller. She brought out this story for us. She titled it Real Housewives of Atlanta Star Kenya Moore on Mark Daly cheating. He is completely destroying me. I'm like, girl, what? He is destroying you? How about you destroying him? Or better yet, how about you all destroying destroying each other, okay? In the social media realm of living life, okay? Because nothing's private between you two. Mark was about that private life, but he can't seem to get out the press. He gets so much press, press, press. He don't want it, but it's being given to him anyway. Okay, by the way of his YouTube or social media queen slash wife, whatever he looks at as Kenya is now, I don't know, problem child, okay, it's being dished out on him and his restaurant and his reputation, okay, and I guess we all can kick you about it if we had to, all right, but anyway, leaving that situation, going into the article, it says, Kenya Moore and Mark Daly were one of the cutest couples on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay? But their relationship deteriorated very fast last year. And Kenya announced that they were going their separate ways. Well, as we know, Mark came out with the first and then Kenya piggybacked on it. Okay? Trying to put her two cents in since Mark had already put his out there. Okay? My sidebar. Not in the article. Going back to the article, it says, at this time, or at the time, neither gave any information on why they were splitting up. See if I can drown some of that out. What Elijah doing, doing all that doggone bark. Ain't got no reason to be barking, but he just barking. Okay. But going back to the article, it said, And a few weeks ago, word was that the two were working on their relationship and have reconciled. And they were making progress with their relationship, but there were also claims that their reconciliation is actually fake. And that they were doing it for the sake of the media. And my thing is, why are we doing it for the sake of the media? Is this a fake relationship? A fake marriage? As we always have thought and seen it to be uh on my part anyway so now we just catching up with everything is fake now going back to the article it says um now can you just open up about it with huge allegations about their breakup and if anybody had eyes to hear it and uh i mean ears to hear and eyes to see Kenya definitely has been trying to dark, uh, darken Mike's light, or Mark, Mike's, well, Mark's light. She's definitely been dimming it. She's been destroying his character, and anything else she can do to diminish him altogether, okay? In the name of show business. Now, that's just my sidebar. Going back to the article, it said, On the latest episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kenya Moore broke down following a huge fight with her husband, Mark Daly, and revealed that she thinks he is cheating. 
can you share? We went to the event, and he seemed very irritated the whole time we were there, not loving, not being nice to me, saying little things under his breath. Everything I was doing, it was like an issue. Okay? So I'm like, Kenya, 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 my sidebar, real quick, fast, in a hurry. Mike was the love of your life. He was the ultimate businessman, married man, father of your man, or father for your child. Uh, everything was uh, peachy and, and, and smooth as pie. Now you want us to believe in social media that he's this horrendous uh, monster of a man that you did not know you were living with, like sleeping with the enemy sense of uh, behavior going around here. I'm like Kenya, Kenya, which is true. I don't know to be with you or not to be with you. That is the question. You telling us one story, but then you setting up another story for us to partake of. Which one is true, my dear? Which one? Are you in a battered mental, physical type of relationship that you need out of? Or is this all for show? I don't know. That is a question. Me, I firmly understand it. It's a hoax. It's a show. This is what you have narrated your storyline to be, and you're playing it out to the hilt, okay? But anyway, going back to the article. It said he ended up getting the Uber. We took off, and then he was just like livid. He was like, I didn't even want you to come. Somehow I ruined his night. Every time he gets mad, he goes in. He goes from out the road. He can't stop until he feels like he has just completely destroyed me or destroying me. I'm like, Kenya, this is not what you had told us about this man. Just on these last two episodes, you have been gearing up and drumming up stories about this man it's just impossible to be around to be with to even further go along into your relationship with now why is that is is it because it's becoming the end of season 12 and you're trying to uh, break out for season 13 to have another storyline to partake of okay because these allegations are pretty strong that you're making against your uh soon-to-be ex-husband and if it has no validity in it and you're gonna do this irreconcilable differences as a statement or testament towards you getting a divorce then why are you damaging this man's name i'm sure you're going to need child support from him and if he can't keep his restaurant open because of all the negativity and the deformation of character you're showing to him at this time how is he going to ever pay you back for child support have you thought that through yet yeah, baby girl because he's not an actress, I mean an actor, is he, in his part-time other than running his restaurant. He can't go get side jobs in, you know, the film industry and, and make up for this excess money that you're going to have him lose. Because he's not going to be able to be able to support you or his children. Just my sidebar, moving back to the article. It said, can you also reveal, I look around and I see these texts. These text messages or whatever. One of the women was begging him to keep the sex going. Uh, even though he was married. That woman he still communicates with. If I told him this is inappropriate. I called the itch too. Which I regret that I did. She answered the phone. I said you might want to take me off speakerphone. This is Mrs. Mark Daly. And I'm like who answers a phone call? Who calls a person and tell them to take themselves off speakerphone? How did you even know she was on speakerphone anyway, Kenya? Was this a part of your play, your act, your reenactment of a stage play you were putting on for us, for social media? What, what were you talking about? Who even addressed a situation like that? They be gun, whole guns blazing and everything. Elf bombs being dropped, itch bombs being dropped, garden tools, oh, excuse me, names being dropped. We ain't going in all professional talking about this is Mrs. Smart Daily and all this stuff. And uh, I mean, it's just too rehearsed what you're saying to us through social media. That's not how a, a scorned woman talks, honey. I'm like, no. Anyway, we're going back into the article. It said, uh, and she picked up the uh, mother effing phone, and I proceeded to let her know if she came anywhere else near my husband, I know where she lives. And to me, Kenny, that's just a solid thread that you put out there on social media, in print, in black and white, that this woman can take to any 
uh, court system or police station and report you for probably trying to do bodily harm to her now or in the future because of her so-called feelings that you've having indiscretions with her husband. I'm like, who does that, Can You act like you're on a movie or something, like a fatal attraction type thing. And your husband don't want anything to do with a woman, and you don't want the husband to come and be a part of y'all family anymore, sneaking around or not sneaking around. However, you talking about you going to check her. I'm like, girl, this is not fatal attraction. This is not This is not a movie. This is real life, can you? You can't go make allegations like this and not have backup to support your statements or your allegations you're making towards someone else. Girl. So my family, y'all know how I feel about it because I don't broke and told y'all in several parts of this video my feelings of this situation. It's poor, poor trash. But King is trying to get us to uh, digest our stomachs on it. This food that she's giving us is just, it's bad, it's trash. We need to throw it out. It's not the truth. Now, what say you, my family, on this particular article? Do you think that Kenya is telling the truth that Mark has had some infidelity issues within their marriage? Or is Kenya just trying to paint a salacious story for us to partake of and to feel sorry for her and go on to support for her and she stays on this platform and still creates havoc and negativity for anybody else she can throw it at. You see what I'm saying? What do y'all feel about this situation? Family, get down in them comments and let me know. And then we'll move on to the next cheater. Which happens to be Greg Leaks. So I want y'all to come back, relax, and let's get into that salacious story that Nene's dropping down on Mr. Greg Leaks, okay? I tell you, these housewives men are cutting up. And they don't even have a television show, okay? But anyway, like I said, get down in the comments, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next video. Take it easy. See you later.